In this movie, we will create the ground floor exterior walls of the villa project. Download the Step 1 DWG drawing to start building the model. Download Dimensions DWG for all dimensions. All dimensions are in millimeters. The base of the walls sits at minus 100. Therefore, we set the elevation at this value. Launch the polysolid command and click the start point of the first wall. The footprint of the wall displays dynamically. Make sure to define the end point when the blue tracking line displays. We don't care much about the exact dimensions at this point. Just create six walls representing the outline of the ground floor of the villa. Right-click to stop creating more walls. When we move the cursor, all walls are extruded dynamically and two dimension fields display. Type the desired height, then hit the Tab key to switch to the width field. Hit the Tab key again to go back and forth between the dynamic dimension fields. Repeatedly hit the Control key to set the justification of the walls. Left, center or right which is indicated in the Tips widget at the bottom of the screen. Press Enter to accept the current justification and dimensions. Switch off the Select Faces option and select the first and the last wall. Select the first, then move the cursor over the last wall and click the L-Connect icon in the quad. The two walls are L-connected. Hit the Control key until the correct L-connection type displays and right-click. In the next few steps, we will adjust the overall dimensions of our model. Click Select Faces in the Selection Modes toolbar. Move the cursor over the back wall. When the inside face highlights, Hit the Tab key to highlight the outside face. Choose BIM Drag in the quad. The entire back wall now moves dynamically with the cursor. Repeatedly hit the Tab key until the outside face of the front wall highlights. Then type the desired distance in the Dynamic Dimension field and press Enter to confirm. We repeat this procedure for the other walls. The Tab key lets you select obscured faces. When moving a wall, hitting the Tab key highlights all parallel faces one by one. Keep the Shift key pressed while hitting the Tab key to cycle the parallel faces in reversed order. Select all walls and move the front left corner to the origin. To make sure the bottom faces sit at minus 100, snap to the bottom of the front left corner and type 0, 0, minus 100 to specify the destination point. Use BIM drag again to adjust the length of left and front walls. We will now split the back wall using a rectangle. Set the elevation back to zero and switch the dynamic UCS on. Launch the rectangle command 
and hover the cursor over the inside face of the back wall. Notice that the UCS icon aligns with the selected face. Hit the Shift key to lock the dynamic UCS. Draw a rectangle. Specify the first point below, the second point above the wall. Choose Extrude in the quad and push the rectangle through the wall, which is then split in two. We adjust the dimensions of the two parts using BIM drag. Remember to hit the Tab key to select an obscured face or to cycle reference faces. Now repeat this procedure for the right wall at the front. Remember to hit the Shift key to lock the dynamic UCS before starting drawing the rectangle. Switch off Select Faces and modify the L connections of the short wall. Select the walls and choose L Connect in the quad. Hit the control key to cycle the L connection types. Lower the short wall to sill height using BIM drag. Notice how versatile the BIM drag command is, depending on the selected face. It allows to adjust the height or the length of a wall or the space between walls. We will now create sills in the openings for the story high windows of the ground floor. Switch off the dynamic UCS. Start the polysolid command. When the blue tracking line displays, hit the shift key to lock it. This allows to snap to a point on the left wall, which is then projected orthogonally onto the tracking line. Snap to the same point again and right-click. Hit the control key to adjust the justification, then type the height and width in the dynamic dimension fields. Remember to hit the tab key to switch to the other field. Restart the polysolid command to create a sill in the other two openings. I now see that the sill of the entrance door is too low. Let's adjust this right away. This concludes the first BIM tutorial movie. In the next movie, we will create the interior walls and columns of the ground floor. 
Thank you for watching. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.